Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it's that time again, time to take up another champion. I just finished taking up so many champions. So you saw a lot of mystery rank ups. Uh, I even did one special edition where I just did like five of them all in the same video. Uh, but I wasn't done. So this one is a very interesting one. And I'm curious, leave a comment if you think you can guess who I just took up. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. King Groot. Now, here's what uh, I had always said with King Groot. I wasn't going to take him up unawakened or at least without a way to awaken him. So what I did was, of course, as you see, I took him up unawakened. Then I recorded some footage with him unawakened. Then I was planning on using a gem on him, but was not needed. I actually duped him. So then I recorded another gameplay with him at just sig 20 just to kind of you know see a, a nice little contrast now at the time that i'm doing this recording i've dumped six sig stones into him I, I think i have him up to uh 120 something like that um and i will probably uh at the end of this take him in just to kind of see, you know, what kind of uh, healing he can do at that SIG level. And I'll show the SIG level because I can't remember it right now. Uh, but anyway, we will go into uh, Realm of Legends and he'll fight Winter Soldier. You'll get to see what all that looks like. Then he'll fight Winter Soldier again, this time at SIG 20. And then I will go and uh, fight Winter Soldier again with him at a higher SIG level. All right, so uh, let's do it. Let's uh, get in there and fight Winter Soldier. All right, so for all of the tests, I went in with this synergy, and it's basically more damage, okay? Um, I-Bomb is an awesome champion in his own right, so I could easily see myself bringing uh, I bomb along, uh, even when I needed, uh, to use King Groot for something. Okay. Uh, but I tried to be consistent and this was without him being awakened. Now, the reason why you hear a lot of people talk about his awakened ability, it, it does make a big difference, a big difference. Okay. So right here, I am uh, I am running suicides. I'll be running suicides for all of the tests and uh, or all of the gameplay. And what I'm doing right now uh, is I want to fire off a special two when he has all those fury. Uh, um, I can also, as long as you have, I believe it's three furies or more, um, you can give up some of those furies. All right, let's take a look at this. Look at that damage. Now, he's not even armor broken at this point. All right, so here we go. Boom. Now, you notice that he has three armor breaks on him right now, and they are not going away. They're permanent armor breaks, okay? And you can see that the damage is looking really nice. Now, right now, I'm r racing to get to a special two again. All right, here we go. Look at this damage. That is nasty. Now, when King Groot first came out, he was very slow. And that's why I, I didn't really want to use him. Um, I hate long fights, and it seemed like he was going to make the fights longer. But then they gave him a rework a little bit. Buffed him. And as you can see... He's not doing too bad with the uh, damage. Look at this. Now, you can see that my health is going down because of, you know, the recoil damage and all that. 
Um, and that's why I personally wanted to get him awakened. That's how he gets his heal. All right. And we're going to see in the next fight um, in the video uh, a little bit of healing on his part. All right. So look at this. Not that bad. I believe you need three Furies in order to get the uh, permanent armor breaks. Anything less, you get an armor break, but they are temporaries. All right. So that was it for the fight without him being awakened. All right. Now, here he is awakened. You see I'm going in again with the same synergy. And uh, I, I got him duped at this point. So he's SIG 20. Everything else is the same. All right. So now we can see a little bit of a difference. All right. So that first, uh, I believe that first Fury goes because, you know, it had to get rid of my um, poison. But that's fine. Just watch his health. Look at that. Now I got a regen, which I didn't have before. The regen, of course, you can't see it now. I got to get hit, um, which I will do. Uh, so you guys can see what that uh, regen is looking like. All right. Hit him again with the... Uh, look at that. Uh. It is so much more damage than he used to do. All right. Here we go. Doing the same thing I did before. Putting him, uh, those armor breaks on him. All right. Got hit. Got hit. But look at the, the regen. Not a big regen, but keep in mind, it goes up. All right, so remember the regen that you saw here because uh, I'm going to come back in here with him at a higher SIG level. And then we can look and see what the uh, healing looks like there. All right, so what is it, 147? And you can see it's it's significant. It's... um getting his health back up there remember what the health looked like uh on the group that was not awakened this looks a lot better all right let me see did i yeah okay uh, i also have more armor breaks on him this time so we're doing a lot more damage than uh the first time just look at that man he is a true tank. He is definitely a true tank. Um, let me see. I don't think I, I stacked any more armor breaks on him. But he can, with the Despair Mastery, he can also take out um, Wolverine on here. All those uh, armor breaks, and they're permanent. With the Despair Mastery... Wolverine won't uh, gain any uh, health. I might do a fight like that um, sometime in the future. All right. So that was it for the second fight. As you can see, his health is looking good. If I had dragged it out, I could have gotten full health. All right. So now we'll go on to the next and last fight. Okay. Last fight. And you can see I'm going in same team. But now let's take a look real quick at... um. King Groot. All right, so I was correct. 120 is where I left his uh, SIG level. So let's take a look and see what his uh, healing looks like. This time I might even uh, put on some more armor breaks. All right, let's see. All right, so let me get hit. Come on, give me some more. Come on. That's fine. Okay. Look at that. Remember, I think the other one was three. Uh, I think it was 147. And now we're at 315. That's nice. All right. Let's put some armor brakes on him.
That is just some nasty damage, man. And I definitely want King Groot at uh, SIG 200. Okay. Now I'm just going to wait out. Okay, there we go. Hit him again. Nine armor breaks. And that regen is just ticking away. Loving it. All right, let's try and get up to a uh, special two. 12 Furies. What'd it look like? Wow. That looked nasty. And look at King Brute's health. Look at his health. He's not even Max Sig yet. And remember, I am running suicide, so. Just look at that. That is sweet. That is absolutely sweet. I will be taking him all the way up to SIG 200. That's crazy. Um, he, he might be one of my uh, new regular champs, you know, on my team. That might, that might be a thing. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What do you think about King Groot? Beast mode, right? Take care, and you all have a blessed day.